Hey guys, Joshua here from Gander Flight. Today we're installing a Rescue Me emergency escape tool in the truck. Join me. So I've been running these Rescue Me uh, tools in our cars for about six years now, uh, and I love them. Uh, thankfully, I've never had to use them. Um, but after uh, my grandpa rolled over in his car and was stuck upside down because he couldn't get the seatbelt undone, uh, I knew that we needed to get something in our cars, and uh, this is what I came up with. I wasn't a fan of the big orange hammers. Um, they're unsightly, they're huge, you gotta find a place to mount them, drill into the dash, drill into the car. Just wasn't what I was going for. Um, what I wanted was something inconspicuous, something that worked, and something that could be accessed by both the passenger and the driver. And so when I found these Rescue Me's, they originally were designed to go on a keychain. So I've got a little keychain loop, um, but I do not want this on my keychain. It's big for a keychain and bulky. Um, so what I decided to do, um, you know, it's got the, the glass breaker, which when you get it, you can test it out on a piece of wood and just kind of pinch it and make sure that the, the spring is working. And then the, you pull down to get the seatbelt cutter out and then slash the seatbelt. So, but what I decided to do is when I got these, um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, like where on the car we had at the time, where I could attach it to here so that I could pull it down and grab it. Uh, just wasn't wasn't fitting and I definitely didn't want it on my keys but then I was thinking what about the rear view mirror so I got a black one uh, definitely check your local laws and regulations whether you can hang things from your rear view mirror uh, but this fits right up underneath and so I, I just get a black zip tie and go through that little loop and zip tie this in place and then cut it off Cut off the tail. And that's it. You take the keychain thing, hang it from the rear view mirror. Uh, these rescue me's, it, it's just awesome. And so you, <coughs> you're in an accident, you know, you're hanging upside down, the driver can reach up, yank that down, cut, break the glass. The other cool thing is that should the driver be incapacitated, the passenger also has access to it. They come in different colors, so you could get something that's, that stands out. I like the black because it blends in. Uh, unless I tell someone it's there, looking in from the outside, you don't know that anything extra is hanging from the wind, uh, the rear view mirror. When I'm sitting back, all I can see is just the little tiniest bit here hanging below the mirror. And so it hides really well behind the bulk of the mirror. Overall, I'm super happy with them. Uh, I replace the zip ties about once a year. Great birthday gifts or stocking stuffers, and uh, I highly recommend them. So. If you're looking to get an emergency tool for your car, you need something that's not unsightly, uh, kind of hides away, but is still accessible by the, both the driver and the passenger, definitely check out these Rescue Me keychain tools, but zip time to your rear view mirror. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and tell me if there's something that you would do or not. And if not, why not? Uh, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more tips and tricks to improve your life in the future. Until next time, take care.